Hello and welcome to Singapore, the island city-state on the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula. Singapore is known for its spectacular architecture and all this week we've been based here at the magnificent Singapore Indoor Stadium for the 2022 Singapore Open, which is the sixth of seven Super 500 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Well, this tournament dates back to 1987 within the open era of the sport, and this is the 31st edition after two years' absence due to the global pandemic. Now, the first order of the day is the World Tour Finals the trophy WF. brought into World the stadium Tour by Enya Wang, chairman of Mr. the organising oh, committee for the Singapore way. Open and former BWF of the organising committee. Of the World the Tour Singapore Finals Man. are due to take place in Guangzhou in December. And it's just for the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines determined by the results of all World Tour tournaments on the HSBC BWF World Tour. So today is finals day and all five finals for you this afternoon. And we're starting with women's singles and Pusala Venkata Sindhu, the former world champion, is up against the reigning Asian champion, Wang Shi Yi of China. Then it's mixed doubles and you don't get better than this. It is the reigning world champions and defending champions here at the Singapore Open, Puanan Baranukro and Teyurat Tanajai, up against the Olympic champions, Wang Yi Lu and Wang Dong Ping. Then it's uh, women's doubles and two pairs who only formed their partnership earlier this year. Rahayu, the Olympic champion with her new partner, Ramadanti, are incredibly in their fourth final in only their sixth tournament together. They're up against Sheng Shu Xuan and Zheng Wu in their third final in only their tenth tournament together. Then it's men's doubles and an all Indonesian affair. Alfian and Ardianto in their 20th career final and their seventh final in their last nine tournaments. They're up against the Southeast Asian Games gold medalist Kanando and Martin. Then we finish with men's singles and the unseeded Naraoka of Japan is up against the Olympic bronze medalist and beaten finalist at the last Singapore Open, Anthony Sinisuka Ginti of Indonesia. Well, with a women's singles being our first final of the day, a chance for us to look at the draw from the quarterfinal stage. Five different nationalities, two players from Japan, India and China, but only two seeds, none in the bottom half of the draw. By semi-final stage, we were down to one seed, and that is the former world champion, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. So it sets up a wonderful final, but of course all these tournaments on the HSBC BWF World Tour count towards the World Tour Finals. And this is the standing in the race to those World Tour Finals. And I can tell you whether Pusala Venkata Sindhu wins or loses today's final, she will go to number one. Wang Shi Yi, who's also in the final, currently number eight, as you can see. If she wins, she'll go up three places to number five. And if she loses today's Usala final, she'll only go up two Sindhu. places to number six. Well, here is our former world champion, the only seed left in the tournament from the semi-final stage, Pusala Venkata Sindhu of India. And not only a former world champion, two Olympic medals to her name, silver in Rio de Janeiro and a bronze China. in One, Tokyo last two, year. Wang Shi has had a wonderful year so far, won the gold medal at the Asian Championships in Manila, uh, beating the current world champion Akane Yamaguchi in that final. She's in her third final in her 11th tournament of the year. And incidentally, Pusala Venkata Sindhu is also in a third final of the year. Now this, as you can see, is only the second meeting between these two players. It was Pusala Venkata Sindhu who, only, who won the only previous encounter. And that was the first round of the All England Championships okay, so earlier this year. That was a Super 1000 event. Red. You saw it, it was two straight you, games, just 42 you. minutes in Birmingham. Black, decide. So, 
received. Wang Shi Yi has Good. won the toss Thank of you. the coin Good and luck. has chosen ends. And I'll be very surprised if any players that win the toss do not choose ends because I've been talking all week uh, about uh, a really significant drift in this magnificent arena. It really is state-of-the-art venue. And I can vouch for that because I've played the Singapore Open here at this very venue. So, our highest ranked player that was left in the tournament from the semi final stage, Pusala Venkata Sindhu, is currently number seven in the world ranking, but has been as high as two. 11 weeks at, in total across three different spells as world number two. Now, this is her sixth appearance at this particular event. She was a semi finalist at the last edition, having been a quarter finalist before that, so a steady improvement. Now, this is her route through to the final. No seeded opposition. She went to three games in both the second round and the quarter final against Nguyen in the second round and Han Yue of China in the quarter final. Semi final, convincing win over Saina Kawakame of Japan. So, to the Asian champion. Wang Shi not seeded in this event, and she's enjoying her second consecutive week at her career high of number 11. She's making her first appearance here at the Singapore Open, and she has won the Babington Asia Championships this year and also reached the final of the Indonesia Super 1000 event. So, uh, she, like her opponent, has not actually played against another seeded player. But unlike her opponent, she has won all of her matches in two straight games. Quarterfinal against Gregoria Mariska Tingjun of Indonesia. And the semi-final against the left-hander, Aya Bukhori. So two players with similar statistics, both in this tournament and throughout the year. Third final for both of them. Ivo Castle of is the umpire for this one and Vishwanath from Sri Lanka is the service judge. So all our court officials from all corners of the globe. And that always ensures neutrality for the officials during each final. Ninth World Tour Tournament final today for this lady, Sindhu. A Ladies third and gentlemen, Super 500 on my right, Manchu Yi, China. And on my left, Pusala V. Sindhu, India. Well, maybe her third Super 500 event for Sindhu, but she's Manjuji yet to Yee win the 500 title. Love all. Her opponents. Play. Wang Shi is today playing her first Super 500 final. So a lot at stake in this women's singles final today. Oh, lucky net board. First rally from one she One love. For all Pusala Venkata Sindhu's achievements over the years, 
she has won surprisingly few World Tour titles. Only three to date. She's got more medals at World Championships than she has World Tour order. titles. Five World Championship One, medals, two. including the gold medal in Basel in 2019. Oh, what an angle. That is a fantastic shot Three, from two. Sindhu. Simply known in her home country of India as PV Sindhu. Yeah. Well, I was mentioning that there is a Four, significant drift, two. and if you haven't been with us earlier in the tournament, I can tell you that the, there is both a sideways drift and a lengthways drift. Now, as we're looking down on the court, the sideways drift is from right to left. And the lengthways drift, the shuttle is flying faster, going towards Sindhu's end of the court. Five, two. A well, little skip up and down on the spot, maybe trying to get rid of some nerves. That's a beautiful block. That's at least two winners Six, with that two. block already. We've only played eight points. Park Tae Sang, Sindhu's coach, former Korean player. Oh, my goodness me. Well, I wonder if the shuttle moved a little bit Seven, with the sideways drift, two. which made her mistime that. But that was a, a dreadful mistiming shot. Look, it's gone in the bottom of the net. Nice net shot. Oh, that's a great shot. Lovely disguise on that from PV Sindhu. Eight, two. Yeah, holds the shot to the last moment before playing it down to the forehand corner. Oh, Wang Shiyi. Now, I did just notice as she was lunging forward there, Wang Shiyi, she's got strapping on her right thigh. Well, this is amazing. Nine, she was loved two down, two. so it's nine straight points. Lo Yigang, Chinese women's singles coach. Yeah, and because... She's playing against the drift. That shuttle, Ten, all her drop shots two. and blocks hold up a little. They die even quicker, which is why she's managing to play these winners. Easier end to play from that far side of the court. That's gone wide, and would 11, you believe it? In the wall. 11 straight points from Love 2 down. A Pusala Venkata Sindhu goes to the mid game interval with a whopping nine-point advantage. Only five minutes played. Extraordinary. Third World Tour tournament final for Wang Xi Yi today. Actually won the US Open in 2019 as a qualifier. 
and then just recently lost in the final of the Indonesia Open. That's the highest tier of World Tour Tournament, a Super 1000 event. 11, cool. Play. Well, given the fact that Wang Xiyi chose ends to start, and this is definitely the more difficult end that she's playing from at the start of the match, one assumes she's back on winning two. the second and having the better end to finish the third game. Finally, she breaks Service the run of points. Uh, 13 straight points. Three, it is incredible in a women's singles final at this level of tournament. Good serve. Oh, another lucky neck cord. She had a lucky neck cord on the very first point of the match. Four, 13. Serve is over. 14, 4. Going wide. Yeah, taken by the drift. 15 4. Yeah, big effort, physical effort there from Sindhu. 16 4. To reach out in her lunge position and take the shuttle early. Good smash. Serve is over. 5-16. 6 16. That's a lovely round the heads. Shot straight down the line. Seven sixteen. on that shot. Wang Shi. Yeah, that's nice. A yeah, little bit of a sort of almost double action before playing that cross court. Beautiful. 
wonderful angle. Seven's over. 18 8. Yeah, her two shots from the front of the courts, PV Sindhu, came from above 19, the shuttle. Eight. Normally when players come into the nets, their racket courage comes from underneath the shuttle. She came from above, which is why she got the upper hand. She then has the options. She can play the block, she can play the fast shot. Tried to do it again there, but was slightly late on that one. So it's over. 9-19. Yeah, indecision again at the back of the court from Wang Chi Yi. And now there's a whole host of game point opportunities for Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Only needed the one. 21 9, the opening game in favour of the former world champion. Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Just about 12 nine. minutes for game number one. Yeah, too late, wasn't behind it, turning to play the backhand. So 21-9, opening game in 12 minutes. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. Well, he looks a little concerned, Lo Yigang. And also a little concerned because apart from the strapping on either the right thigh or the right hamstring, right knee also Thank heavily you. strapped for Wang Shi Yi. Love all. Well, the Asian champion. Well, certainly need to up her game here in the second game against the former world champion, Sindhu. Service over. One love. That's a nice shot. Well, Sindhu did that to Wang Shiyi in the opening game. Wang Shiyi has just done exactly the same thing back. Hold and flick deep into the forehand corner. Oh, that's lovely. Well, only one player from Three, India has ever won the Singapore Open women's singles title before, and that was Saina Nawal, who got to the quarterfinal this year. Nice to see Saina playing well again. Saina Nawal won the title 12 years ago, uh, beating the qualifier then, Tai Su Ying. Tai Su Ying in that final 12 years ago, turn 16 on finals day. 
India have had a men's singles winner in this event as well. That was Sai Praneeth back in 2017. All Indian final against Kidambi. That's a good punch clear. So is that. We've done it. Well, this really is giving an example of the difference in the ends because of the drift. Yeah, don't despair yet, Mr. Park. Well, when we look at past winners of the women's singles from China, the Singapore Open, players from China have won 17 of the previous 30. And so that's just about 57%. It's certainly over half. Last time, though, that a player from China won, you have to go back seven years. Sun Yu and beat Tai Su Ying in the final. Oh, that's a good play. Service is over. One, six. Yeah, uh, defensive shot from deep in the forehand corner from Wang. It was nowhere near deep enough. Dive there. Court needs to be mopped of the perspiration that will have been left on the court surface. If you don't mop it up, court can become very slippery. Two, six. Timed it. It's Seven difficult order. in that corner with the sideways Seven, drift. Two. Ooh, that was going wide, I think. That one's gone long. Over three, seven. This one. Look where her feet are when she played it. I think that was going wide. Uh, she won the point anyway. Gosh, that's good judgment. Service over. Eight, three. Those lifts Nine, and pushes three. will go long at the back line, that far end. Another one from long. Yeah. Clear example of the lengthways drift. Judgment again. Well, 11 3 the leads at the mid game interval in favour of the Asian champion, Wang Shiyi. 
20 minutes into the match. Well, I was telling you the one she unseeded, and we've only had one unseeded winner of the women's singles here at the Singapore Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour in 2007. And that was seven years ago when the last Chinese player won, Sun Yu. Seconds. I wonder if that's an omen. 20 seconds. Oh, brilliant. What a shot there from Pusala. So it's over 4-11. Look at this angle. Slices across the feathers as she played that shot, creating extra spin. The extra spin creates extra air resistance and the shuttle dies quicker. Well, it had a little Come think over. about it. Yes. Decided not to come over. Five. Gosh, that was well. close. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful net shot from Wang Shi Yi. Thirteen five. Deep forehand corner again being exploited. 14 5. And that's probably the safest corner on the whole court because the shuttle will keep in with the sideways drift and keep in with the lengthways drift. Yeah, I like that backhand kill from Wang Shi. 15 5. Beautiful over. return of serve. Inch perfect. Millimeter perfect. Now, tight spinning, spinning net shot doing the damage again from Pusala. 7.15. Look at that. Look how it was tumbling. It was upside down as it crossed over the net. Our well, first challenge of finals day. And I fear she won't win that challenge. Challenge from Wang Shi. No, clearly long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 8 15. Play. Yeah. 
Vooch has missed it. Would you so believe over. it? 68. One, she was down on the floor anywhere, over and in. Out of the... Well, she wasn't even ready. I was going to say out of racket reach would have been a winner. And she wasn't even ready for a winner, for a, the next shot. And that was way, way long from Pusana. Well, one thing you have to do when you have a, a dreadful miss like that is try and put it out of your mind. But in trying to put it out of your mind, of course, it goes to the forefront of your mind. Seventeen eight. Yeah, clever. Obvious shot was straight down the line. So it's over. But Pusala choosing Nine, to go across 17. court. That's very good awareness of where the gap was. This time she finds the corner. One she oh, well, challenges. One she holding. is going to have another challenge. And if she's wrong, she's got no challenges left. And I suspect she will be wrong. I thought that brought the corner. And I'm even more convinced it's in now. Seeing that again. Here we go. What does the instant review say? Well, in, but much, much closer Challenge than it appeared. So no challenges left for Wang Shi. No challenges remaining. 10, 17. Play. Service over. 18 10. Well, it looks almost certain we're going to have a deciding game. And the toss of the coin and the choice of ends could prove pivotal. 19 10. And I don't think Badminton should be based on the toss of a coin. I think it should come down to skill, technique, physicality tactical awareness shouldn't be the luck of finishing the match at the better end of the court when he in point, point opportunities ten. to level this final uh, one game apiece Service over. 11 20. One game all. 21 11. The second game in favour of the Asian champion. One Shi Yi. Second game won by Wang Shi Yi. Good punch clear. 11. One game all. That deep forehand corner is definitely an area to exploit given the drift. 30 minutes into the match and one game apiece. You can use this open, but it's slowly now closed, then it's never to come. She will, because she will come. Nobody, never close. No, no worries, okay? 
20 seconds, 20 seconds. So the players return to court for this third and deciding game. Match so far dictated by... Final game. ...the better end. Love the far side of the court. Play. When you're playing from this near side of the court, as Wang Shi is in the first half of this deciding game, when you go forward to the net, you've got to make oh. sure that you really move forward and keep so moving over. forward because the shuttle tends to die One. a little. Oh. It's going wide. Good rally. One of the longer rallies of the match. We've Two, hardly had any one. really long rallies. That's a much better going forward from Wang Shi. Challenge here for Sindhu. Sindhu challenges. She'll win that challenge. Uh, very difficult for me to see. I'm about as far away as you can be from the court. Here we go. Yeah, clearly not. Strange challenge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Three, one. Play. Yeah, that's an example. So it's over. If she didn't really move Two, far enough forward three. to the net, Wang Shi. Well, with the shuttle played against the drift from the far end of the court, the shuttle out of her reach, really. Again, slightly late on the shuttle. That's better. Uh, it's a pity from one Shi's perspective. Four, three. In. 
One challenge here. Eight challenges from one she called in. She thought it was out. Well, she was right there. And she was correct. Good challenge. Correction out. Service over for all play. Dive. Oh, and then a very loose backhand. Five, That's well four. played by Sindhu. Five to four, please. Yes, it's on the way. Ken? Brilliant. Now ah, that's very good work from Wang Shi. She Time knows that over. trying to play to the back of the court is very Five. risky. Oh. Yeah, that's a super angle. Yeah, she's pleased with that one. Sindhu. Six, that five. was played to perfection. And I'm not surprised the longest rally of the match so far. One. They really have seen very, very few long rallies. Uh, that's a clear example of how the shuttle just holds up when you're hitting against the drift. Wonderful rally. when she played that. Seven, five. She Five. wanted to change the shuttle. Sindhu said no, and as is a normal with umpires, they tend to side with the server. And if the server thinks the shuttle's all right, then it usually is. body smash. Good rally. 
Kaz landed in. That is a perfect shot from Wang Shi. But that hurts. Six, Physically eight. demanding rally. Gosh, clean here. One. Well, getting longer and longer, aren't they? These rallies. Taking it early. Service over. Took the shuttle high, just guided it across court. Nine, Look six. where she takes this. And the difference in her opponent who'd taken the shuttle much, much later at the net. in the second game as well from the deep forehand corner smashing cross court played it to get to the midday game interval here in the decider here it is yeah good awareness worked before and it worked again five point advantage at the change of ends here in the deciding game in favor of this lady Pusala Venkata Sindhu Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Eleven six. Packed house today. Fans have been great all week, actually. Thank you. Very well supported event. Play. So a five point advantage for Pusala Venkata Sindhu. It's gone long. Service over. 7 11. Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. Nice. Challenges called out. Well, she's challenged once in this deciding game, and she was correct. 
Wang Shi. I don't think she'll be correct this time, though. Here we go. No, it's clearly not. Challenge so both just one challenge remaining. One challenge remaining. In this deciding game. Serve is over. 12-9. Play. Oh, that's well in. Well, Eleven, just one point well. in it. Well, I was mentioning right at the end of the second game that badminton matches shouldn't come down to the luck of the toss of the coin, which makes me even more in favour of my friend and colleague suggestion, Steve Peterson, that so we should over. change ends 13, at the mid-game interval. So halfway through the opening game, change ends, and then start the second game, the end that you finished the first game, and change ends again at the mid-game interval. And that way, and of course, uh, as usual in the third game, but that way, each game, you would have to deal with both the good and the bad end. And with air conditioning as standard now in these beautiful badminton venues, the drift does make a huge difference. 14-11. Her foot was right in the way, I couldn't see. Good rally. Yeah, and a very, very good follow-up from PV Sindhu. 15-11. Kept uh, momentum going forward to the net on this one. Didn't hold back, fully committed. And got her just rewards. A beauty. No Service wonder the verbal celebration 12, from Wang Shi Yi. What a delightful drop shot to end the rally. Look at that. Skim the net. Still landed in front of the front service line, indicating how accurate it was. Fifteen. 
Nice. Oh, it's just wide. Ah, it was a lovely skill there from Wang Wang Shi. 16. Hold 12. and disguise push down the forehand side, but it was indeed just wide of the mark. And Pusala Venkata Sindhu is creeping ever closer to her third title of the year. That's gone long. That's where Sindhu's got to be so 13, careful 16. from this end of the court. Six. Those pushes. Okay. Yeah. The okay. pace and the situation beginning to get to the players. 13, Nerves will 16. also contribute to breathing irregularities and you're nervous you can't breathe properly and after long long rallies also an issue just two points the deficit now 14, 16. remember she was five points adrift at the change of ends in this deciding game and she Just wide. No. So I over. think that was a really important rally. 17, Big difference 14. psychologically between 17 14. And had. Oof, gosh, that was close, wasn't it? And 15 16 had that landed in. Defense initially from Wang Shi. Like the Portis. But this is now a very handsome lead. Yes, change the shot. Four point cushion for Pusala Venkata Sindhu. No lack Wong. of effort is there from Wang Shi. Can you check? Thank you. Eighteen fourteen. It fell back her side. And um, Park Tae Sang, Sindhu's coach, urging his Thank player you. on. Very quick here. There are some feathers. Yes. Two Thank points you. required. Already Thanks. one two titles this year but they were Thank both okay. super 300 events the side modi and luck now in india and the swiss open as well but two points needed 19, for a first ever 14. super 500 title for pusala venkata sindhu that's gone long Service over. 1519. 
intense rally. Good shot. Yeah, that's well worked by Sinu. And she's on the verge of victory. Service over. Five match point opportunities for the match former world champion 15. against the reigning Asian champion, Wang Shi. It's gone wide Yay. and a third title of the year for Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Emotional coach Park Te San. But my goodness, she played well in that deciding game. Sindhu. 21 15 in the third game in a match lasting two minutes shy of the hour mark. A fourth World Tour title. Match won by Pusala V. Sindhu. For Pusala Venkata Sindhu. 11, 21, her first Super 500 title when playing in her third 500 final. The moment of victory, the shuttle Ooh, drops man. wide. And coach Park Tae-san, absolutely delighted with his charge. Yep, wide of the sideline. Well, a fifth tournament in six weeks for all these top players. And that's how Pusala won the title today. 21-9, 11-21, 21-15 in the deciding game in a match lasting 58 minutes. Well, hopefully we will get a word with Pusala in a moment. But it really is a wonderful achievement. Three finals in 2022 and three titles. Well, a 18th title in total, a fourth world tour. Let's hear what she has to say courtside. Congratulations on your win. I bet you're feeling great. Now you've had three titles this year so far. What can you attribute your success to? Uh, firstly, thank you so much and thanks to all the, all the people out there who've been, uh, who've been really very, very supportive throughout the match. I'm very thankful to all of them. I think uh, Singapore has always been a very nice city and uh, it's really good to be here today, uh, today here and winning the finals after a long time. So once again, thank you all. Well, um, getting this title today uh, means a lot because I think this would give me a lot of confidence and this will take me to another level. Fantastic. Now, you've been on fantastic form, without a doubt. I mean, we all saw it just now. How do you think this can translate for the rest of the year? What are your targets? Well, um, the whole week has been, a couple of matches have been Three games, couple of matches have been easy, but I think uh, each match was very important from the start. And I think now it's time for me to just relax a bit again, focus for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, it's not over yet, and uh, as I mentioned, yes, this is just the start, and uh, this will give me a lot of confidence. Well, we look forward to seeing more from you. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.
Well, her next target is the Commonwealth Games that start on the 28th of this month. She already has a bronze medal and a silver medal from the Commonwealth Games. I'm pretty certain that she's aiming for gold and a full set of women's singles medals at the Commonwealth Games. Let's give it up one more time! Well, we prepare for the prize presentation for both the finalists and the Indian fans here in Singapore will be celebrating. I noticed that Pusala's father was here. We all caught the same bus from the hotel before the start of play today, long before the start of play, so she could do a, a thorough warm-up. So Pusala Venkata Sindhu becomes the second player from India to win the women's singles discipline at the Singapore Open. 12 years after Saina Nawal, the only other winner here in this venue. But as Pusala Venkata Sindhu was saying, it's the confidence that she will gain from this week in Singapore that I think is of so much importance. Three quarter-finals in the previous four tournaments on this Asian leg of the HSBC BWF World Tour. So this, a big win as far as Kusala Venkata Sindhu is concerned. Singles. Let's welcome our players. Our runner-up for the women's singles. Let's give a huge round of applause from China. Wang Zhi Yi. Wang Zhi Yi of China. Her third final of the year and the Asian champion here in Singapore, and having to settle winner, for second best. But what a good performance in her first Open. ever Singapore Open. Please welcome, representing India, Pursala V. Sindhu. Pursala Venkata Sindhu, her third title of the year to add to that to one in Lucknow at the Saeed like Modi like Super 300. And her second Swiss Open in Basel. Thank you, Mr. Teo. And presenting the Czech and Merlion plushie, Mr. Chan Wing Kai, Deputy President of the Singapore Badminton Association. One more time, giving up for your runner-up and your champion. Well, an 18th title of her career, a fourth world tour title, a first at 500 level. Well, as they pose for the photographers, we get ready for our second final of the day, and you don't get much better than this. It's the reigning world champions, Pua Varanukro and Teirat Tanachai, up against the Olympic champions, Wang Yinu 
and Wang Dongping. Welcome back to Singapore for sights and sounds of this wonderful city-state. This is where we are, the Singapore Sports Hub, and what a wonderful facility it is too. We're inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium, state-of-the-art facility. Well, next up, we after the women's single